Hey guys, so as you already probably know, Halloween is fast approaching and I'm pretty much ready. I'm, I'm a big fan of Halloween as you probably could have guessed. I've got all my Halloween candy here and there's some spider webs and stuff behind me that you can't really see very well. But anyway, uh, I thought I'd use this opportunity to do a video on something I've been wanting to do for a while which is basically how to make your skin a lot paler through using makeup. You've probably noticed already that I'm looking a lot paler than usual. Uh, I have done my chest and I've done my face and I've left my arms because I'm basically just going to show you quickly how to do how to achieve the pale skin look. You can either go all out with this tutorial and do it like do really high coverage and everything I can show you how to do low coverage and high coverage or you can just do a really soft version of this and do it when it's not Halloween uh, a lot of the time I use these products on a night out I might mix a little bit of my white goth foundation with my normal foundation uh, to make my skin paler normally or I might even use what I've been using on the rest of my body in a lighter version just when I go out just to make my skin a bit paler and also if you're dressing up for Halloween and you're coming as something say like a zombie or I don't know I, last year I came as a dead sailor girl I'll show you some pictures of that you might want to add like a tone to your skin like a green tone if you're a zombie or a blue blue green grey tone if you're meant to be dead or whatever so I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Basically how to take the pale look and then alter it a bit. And if you're stuck for something to come as and you might want to come as something a bit more elegant, uh, maybe come as someone from the Elizabethan era, like Queen Victoria or come as Marie Antoinette. And this tutorial will be great for that because they all had really pale skin. And what she's used in this image is pretty much exactly what I'm going to be using in this tutorial. So I'm going to start with running through what I've used on my body. There's two main ways I know how to do this. The first way I'm going to show you, which is my favorite way. Second way I'm just going to tell you a bit about, which is with MAC Chroma Cake, which is a kind of a similar product to what I'm using, except I think it's just a cream formula. But as far as I know, it's a little bit messier than what I use. So I'm just going to show you what I use now. Uh, I'm a huge fan of theatrical makeup because a lot of the time I can't find what I like through just using normal makeup brands. And one of my favourites is Cryolin. And if you haven't heard of it, I really recommend checking it out. They do a lot of really great colours and just have amazing products. And this is called Aqua Color. It's basically a solid kind of cake, like a chalky kind of cake. And what you do is you wet it with water, or um, I'm going to use Fix Max Mac Fix Plus with it. And you just can apply it to your skin. You can use it as a wash to your skin. Uh, sometimes I use it as a base for my eyeshadow. You can use the black version of this for an eyeliner. They basically have a million and one uses and one of these tiny little ones here will set you back just over $10 and it will seriously last you so long. So for my skin, I'm going to show you what I use. If you haven't heard of MAC Fix Plus, it basically seals your makeup and makes it last longer. So often I mix my aqua color with the Fix Plus just so that it's going to last better on my skin. If you can't afford the Fix Plus and you can just afford the Aqua Colour, uh, water works fine. Water with a sponge works absolutely fine. So I'll just show you it with water, but you can use the Fix Plus. So I'm just going to take a little foundation triangle here and I've just got some water here, which obviously I've already dipped the white in it. So I'm just going to wet the sponge. Now, depending on how much water you have on here, obviously like the less water you use, the stronger it's going to be because you're not washing it out as much. 
And you can buy Kryolan all over the place. If you go to like a costume shop or a theatrical shop or even like a gothic store, there's even Kryolan stores. There's one in Melbourne, so I'm not sure where else, but they're all over the place. Um, it's, Kryolan's pretty easy to pick up. So I just take a bit of the Kryolan Aquacolor on my sponge and I'll show you just on my arm. I'm literally just gonna wipe it over. It can transfer a little bit on your clothing, but I've tried the other method, which I said was the MAC Chroma Cakes, and I find they're a lot messier. This product tends to go from a cream to a powder kind of finish, so it's not too messy on your clothes. It's really easy to apply, and you can build up the level of pale that you want depending on what kind of look you're going for. And I do use a very light coating of this sometimes, like I said, when I go out. Because I really do like my skin pale anyway. Okay, so that's not perfectly done. But it's enough to show you. Maybe you can see the difference between my two arms. I'm sure you can see now. Yeah, so that's the one with aqua colour on it. And that's the one without. So that's basically the start of that. Now, like I said with the Fix Plus before... You can use this Fix Plus spray even just to set it. So you can just spray it over the top and that's enough to set it as well. You might want to apply something over the top just to really seal it in and stop it from moving anywhere. You can use, I've shown you probably the MAC and Prep and Prime Translucent Finishing Powder which I use on my face. I might put that over the top. You can put talcum powder over the top. Some kind of powder which is going to set it on there but you want it to be white or clear because you don't want to ruin that pale look. That's basically the basics of body foundation. 